Number 13, integrated concepts. Approximately how does the EMF induced in the loop in figure 23.57b depend on the distance of the center of the loop from the wire? All right, so they're talking about this case. So basically, in order to uh, induce an EMF in this coil, uh, the current that is then flowing in this wire, right? Let me maybe change the color. The current flowing then in this wire produces its own magnetic field. And as that magnetic field travels through the center of this particular coil, it starts to induce a current and an EMF inside of uh, that coil. So the thing is, how does basically, if this wire were to, let's say, move closer or move further away from this coil, how does then it affect the EMF in this coil? Well, we know that the induced EMF is a function of a changing magnetic flux. And we know that the changing magnetic flux here is a function then of either changing magnetic field, changing area, or changing angle. In this problem, in this problem, the only thing that's changing, and meaning this is all for the wire, uh, the only thing that's changing here is going to be the strength of the magnetic field, right? As the wire moves away, the strength of this wire's magnetic field goes down. How does it go down? It goes down according to this function from the other chapter, right? Chapter 22. It's going to simply be now the permeability of free space, right? Which is simply going to be mu sub o multiplied then by the current flowing through the wire, then divided by 2 pi multiplied by the distance. This represents the distance between the wire, okay, and its particular point of interest in which you're trying to analyze the magnetic field of. All right, check out number, you know, check out the whole whole prior chapter for an explanation of that. Well, not every single problem, but I I, I do not remember which problems they were. Um, so uh, as the radius increases here, or as the distance between the wire and the point of interest, the center of the coil increases, then the magnetic field will go down, okay? And therefore, if the magnetic field here goes down, the change in magnetic flux will also be a little less, right? And therefore, the EMF will change as well. All right, so that's kind of the answer to the question, I guess. But anyway, guys, hope that helped. Help us out by subscribing if you can, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.